This video is one of the witnesses why we trust in algebra rather than calculator. As you can see here, some bunch of numbers multiply together with 1 inside the square root. Or we simply call it as radicand. As we know, if we multiply these numbers, the result will be huge. Moreover, it is not that easy to find the square root of very large number. So what do we do? Let us observe this first. After observing this, we can notice that some nice pattern in the radicon. Specifically in this term. Let us consider 300 as x. If it is x, 301 will be x plus 1. The next number is x plus 2. And the last one is x plus 3. And please don't forget to write the plus 1. Right now, we have some nice algebraic expression here. Please don't ever think to multiply these factors. If we do that, our work will be so tedious. So with the experience of algebra, I am going to multiply this x and x plus 3. By doing so, we get x square plus 3x. Then I am going to multiply other two factors. We have x square plus 3x plus 2 and 1. After this, I am going to rewrite this factor with some adjustment like x square plus 3x then we all know that 1 plus 1 equals 2 so we can write 2 as 1 plus 1 now i am going to distribute this factor to these terms consequently we get x square plus 3x times x square plus 3x plus 1 now I'm gonna distribute the same factor to this one. We get x square plus 3x. The remaining plus 1 will come here. Now I'm going to take common factor out. Here we have x square plus 3x plus 1. So the remaining factor will be x square plus 3x and thankfully we have plus 1 here. Now we have twin brothers. So we can multiply them, so which means x square plus 3x plus 1 the whole square. Now in order to remove the whole square, I am going to take square root on both sides. If we do that, our equation will be like this. Here we can cancel out the square root and the whole square because both are inverses to each other. By doing so, we get x square plus 3x plus 1. If we plug in 300 in place of x as we took in the beginning, we have 300 square plus 3 times 300 and 1. So the result is 90,901.